Hi, my name is Jackie Colgan. I'm going to talk you through my poster, which outlines some work undertaken in Central Coast Local Health District, New South Wales, Australia. This poster demonstrates the initial investigation and subsequent activation of the incident management process into a series of clinical incidents involving infusion pumps. 18 months after the rollout of new infusion pumps across the state of New South Wales, there was an isolated clinical incident involving an infusion pump in which a full syringe of insulin was administered in 20 minutes. Within a short period of time, there were a further two incidents involving syringe driver pumps where high-risk medicines were infused within 20 minutes or less following replacement of a syringe. The patients received immediate attention to prevent deterioration and luckily no patient suffered permanent harm from any of the medication incidents. A multidisciplinary team was formed to explore events and circumstances surrounding each incident. Analysis of the information led to a theory that the root cause of the incidents where staff were inadvertently using a setting available only in the syringe driver within the dose mode configuration. After consultation with stakeholders, the preferred solution was to eradicate the potential for error by reconfiguring the entire stock of syringe drivers to remove dose mode. Reconfigured pumps have a visual display which confirms that they operate in mils per hour. Notification to the CEC and TGA resulted in a statewide safety alert to all local health districts. At the same time, the vendor of the syringe pumps completed their own investigation and their conclusion was the incidents were due to user error. Incident investigation teams need to look beyond simple explanations such as user error and consider human factors.